audit output has been paid for by the WZWA network. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second episode here of WZWA Network's Universe Mode here on 2K23, our second episode of WCW Monday Nitro. I'm one of your commentators, Carla Fonya, alongside Blade JST. Blade, how are you doing tonight, bro? Good, sir. Very good. And first up in our main event, we've got the APA versus the Lucha Brothers. I'm looking forward to these two styles clashing together. Yeah, man, especially after what happened last week between Bradshaw and Pentagon. But uh, also, unfortunately, Blade, we've got Dan Housen <laughs> in action here tonight after his big victory over Bron Breaker last week. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, keep things rolling. And we've also got Maximum Male Models presenting the 2023 Streetwear Collection. Uh, any pieces you got your eyes on tonight? Oh, well, um, that, certainly the piece known as uh, Maxine Dupree, hopefully. Uh, but uh, coming up next, bro, the inaugural WCW Hardcore Championship match. Doink the Clown, Shelton Benjamin, Otis, and Christian Cage. Holy crap. What a stacked show. Yep. And uh, here he comes. Uh, the, the, the One of the recent stars of one of the episodes of Dark Side of the Ring. It's the I did see only. that. Doink the clown, bro. Uh, mm. <laughs> about to get hardcore here, dude. Yeah. Nothing like seeing a clown beat the absolute living crap out of someone. Yeah. Well, there's this theme song. Da, 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 da. Oh. The miming. Oh, he's acting like a clown. That's, that's, that's surprising, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Look at that body on him. Fuck. Speaking of bodies, here comes Shelton Benjamin. Ain't no stopping him, Blade. The gold standard. One of the most underrated wrestlers, I think, of the uh, Ruthless Aggression era. Yep, and uh, one of the most underutilized in today's real-world WWE. What are you doing over there? Do something with the guy. Look at him. He's, he's, he's a good-looking man right there. He's, uh, you know, amateur wrestling star. Mm. and uh coming up coming up out here next to, it, it, this is christian cage right is it <laughs> I think, i'm pretty sure it is yeah no it is surely not one of the best community models i've seen but hey <laughs> yeah no tim he's doing the thing yeah <laughs> he's looking for his peeps <laughs> it's no it's not bad it's just it's, it's kind of also looks a bit like alex shelley uh, yeah i was like <laughs> Yeah, okay, it definitely is him. But yeah, we can't always bat 100, you know? Well, he, uh, he's outworking everyone, bro, because he worked us into thinking it wasn't even him. So, <laughs> and oh, man, definitely one of the um, rising stars here in World Championship Wrestling. It's Otis. Big Otis. He's a big bastard. So, Look at uh, him. Who who are we who are we favoriting going into this match? Who do we think is going to come out as the inaugural hardcore champion? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't want any of them to win. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, I mean, it would have been great if someone from actual WCW was in this match, but that's okay. You know, I'm I'm, I'm always going to be critical, but maybe you know, maybe Shelton might be a nice hardcore champion. You know, I got to be honest. After the bullshit that we were fed in the first episode. My prediction is we're going to see Doink the Clown as our hardcore <laughs> champion here this evening. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised. But hey, look, at least no one from AEW is in this match. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christian, Christian Cage. He, he, he is from AEW. Well, yeah, okay. Good call. You, you, you got me there, bro. But, but it's okay because he's, you know, he's from where he's from. That's true. Oh, man, kicked him right in the skull. Otis with the ladder, he's rolling into the ring, trying to get there early. Yes, I mean, the, the, we all know the WCW Hardcore title is one of the most coveted championships in the history of pro wrestling. Uh, with former champions such as Brian Nobbs, uh, Norman Smiley, uh, and of course, Meng. Uh, yeah, so we have Crowbar. Crowbar, Big Vito, Johnny the Bull Stamboli, uh, Terry Funk. Ooh. I believe Lance Storm even won it. Terry Funk, of course, as we saw in our last episode of AEW, uh, 
being mercilessly beaten by the Tribal Chief, but we're here in WCW. Yeah. Not to talk about AEW. No, that's certainly, no, certainly not. But, you know, this is the premier brand as far as I'm concerned, Blade. I mean, look, I do I do commentate ECW with Fluffy. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's, that's a ball hair away being as good as WCW, but I prefer WCW, bro. It's the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Oh, stiff knee to the stomach. It's ferocious so far, Blake. What's Otis going to do here? He's going to do nothing. Beautiful reversal. What a ladder match we're having right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. He goes flying to the outside, that big bastard. The uh, two amateur wrestlers going at it, but Sean Benjamin <laughs> getting the best of that exchange. I love video games, bro. He whipped him off the ropes and started fighting someone else before he even came back. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladder us up in the corner, but no. Oh, he's reset it back up. Obviously, the oh, man, happen, ass right? to the dick. Up he goes. Oh, it's going drop there from Doink. Okay, Matt Bourne. I mean, I, mean, I, would assume, I would assume it's the Matt Bourne version. I would think so as well. He was the most famous, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there, there, I know there were a lot of other guys who portrayed Doink. Uh, Steve Kern. Uh, Steve Lombardi. The Brooklyn mm. Baller also. Uh, Did Chris time. Jericho do it once? I believe so. I believe you... Was, did Eugene do it once? That would, that would be on Brian. Oh, power slam there from Doink. Um, but again, the 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 aim of the match, ladies and gentlemen, is to climb a ladder to retrieve the WCW Hardcore Championship that is hanging above the ring. Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, Shelton! Shelton What's he going to do? Oh, my God, Blade. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Oh, oh you fucked around, Shelton. <laughs> Wimped out there. Don't leave us with pre-cum, bro. <laughs> he climbs a ladder to do not retrieve it now without a wicked <laughs> no oh my god Get him, Otis. oh you a stunner to see a jaw breaker right there and there this is suspense on the top of the ladder right there <laughs> somebody somebody in uh in camera is going to get fired for that one yep well, so from our production team, probably Mr. Craig Leathers. How much of a WCW nerd am I to know the names of the production team? <laughs> like, people that work with them probably don't remember their names. Yeah, Christine like, Johnson, a... Neil Pruitt, uh, Kevin Sullivan, uh, Craig Leathers. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> be like, Booker T, what was the name of the camera guy? Like, I don't know if I can know. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Come on, Doink, push! Push, bro! Are you serious? It didn't move. Doink not being able to exert enough strength there. Push, bro! Or let go yeah. then and grab Otis. Grab him! Doink, you fucking idiot! Oh, come on, hit him! Oh, flying Jumping elbows to the ass. To like, <laughs> yeah, fists to the asshole. <laughs> he really is a clown, bro. Oh, look, here it is, Doink. Is Doink, Doink wants to go yoink and grab that belt, bro. Oh, right to the eyes. Oh. Oh, oh just shoves him off with his... Could this be clown. Doink's chance? Could this be the clown heist of the century? <laughs> get him, Christian. He got it. Did he get it? Oh, my, oh God. my God. I told you. You were right, Blade. <laughs> Our first ever <laughs> WCW Hardcore Champion. Doink, Doink the Clown. Oh my god. You were right, bro. What a disappointing ladder match. <laughs> and that's proudly sponsored by Valvoline. People who know use Valvoline. Valvoline. You know what I mean. <laughs> Doink the Clown cementing his legacy in yeah. WCW Nitro. That was a great spot there where he, where he had him set up on the ladder bridge and nothing happened afterward. <laughs> Look at that final spot of the match. The clown shoot of the chest. Do you reckon it made a sound like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we get it. He won the belt. Let's get to the next segment. Thank you, Craig. And oh, his destiny has been fulfilled here. <laughs> you can see the tears running down his 
clown makeup face. <laughs> oh, bro. But up next, dude. Holy crap. Julius Creed from the Diamond Mine from the Creed Brothers taking on Chad Gable. Ooh. Thank you. So annoying. <laughs> And here comes Julius. You know, have you seen much of Julius Creed, Blade? I haven't actually. I haven't seen any of the the Diamond Mine stuff. Right. Yeah. No. The Creed brothers um, and Ivy Nile, I believe, are the only three remaining members of the group in NXT. And Jack Gable is attacked before the match, attacking the knee there of Julius. Beautiful chop block. Uh, but Julius is pretty fucking incredible uh, as far as you know an athlete's concerned. He could do shooting star presses and and lots of amateur style wrestling so this is going to be a real amateur style contest here between these two excellent oh and we can already see that beautiful reversal do not tell me that referee is going to be refereeing every match again Ooh. We, did we not request last week blade that that referee was to not that is true we did unbelievable i mean i feel like if it's wcw where's where's nick patrick where's little nature yeah Where's um, where's Mickey, where's Mickey J? Where's Bill, Billy Silverman? <laughs> You're actually busty out like the deep cut WCW. <laughs> I'm like, I named the two that I know. Where's referee Scott Dickinson? You know. <laughs> oh man, Fisherman Buster there from Chad Gable. You know how you're like super good friends with Scott Hudson. Do you reckon we could get him to do an episode of this with us? Like, how fucking funny <laughs> would that imagine? be? You imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i mean i'll have to see <laughs> i don't think he he might get a kick out of it to be honest with you simulate simulated wcw with actual commentator scott hudson <laughs> and when scott's just clowning around he's actually fucking hilarious I've, I've heard some um stuff. honestly one of my favorite interviews that you did rope break there <laughs> And Gable just taking it to Julius here. Very aggressive. Whoa. Oh, dangerous. Beautiful T-bone suplex there. And Julius might be a little bit out of his element here. Oh, what a... You know, he used to teaming with his, uh, his brother. They're in NXT. I believe his brother's name's Brutus pretty sure it is Br brutus and julius yeah go on get in the ring creed you have just to wait for the referee to ask you <laughs> he's just catching his breath okay all right okay. utilizing his time you know he's got oh. up until 10. this is a bit of a stalemate here between these two. Oh, the flying crossbody there takes him down takes him down to gable town and he's locked in a cross face here well, that looks a little bit underneath the... Uh, that could be an illegal choke there, Blade. Well, I was actually going to put on my nerd glasses and say, uh, I think that's actually a LaBelle lock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I annoying. Oh, uh, California, he, 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 as commentator, he, he, he was he was calling it a cross. He was actually a LaBelle lock. So I, I have to give that a <laughs> minus two stars. Uh, <laughs> you know that, like... You know, this is purely me just having started watching wrestling again. I'm like, oh, <laughs> could use the little knowledge that I have. <laughs> You've been watching it again for five minutes, and now you're you're schooling me on things. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Oh, roll oh, the through. Roll through German. Beautiful. Beautiful. That could be all, dude. Oh, Dick Haraway. So close there. And okay, Chad to the top. To the top. Moonsault. Oh. Right into the bread basket there. Picture perfect on execution. The crowd chanting fight delivery. forever when they've been wrestling for three and a half minutes. Like, <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> At least let it get up to second gear. Exactly. Oh! oh! Holy crap, the shooting star press from Julius, but that's not enough. Remember back in the day when a shooting star press would be enough to finish a match? Oh, bro, it was like the end all and be all. And only, like, one guy in each company would do it. Yeah. And, I mean, one guy risked his career to do it and almost broke his neck. 
Oh, look at this amateur wrestling skill oh. here from Julius. Oh, oh, what's his move? Beautiful. I don't know what he calls it, but it's a, it's a nice short clothesline there. Ref slow on the count. Bro, Gable was wiped out from a, a now injured Julius Creed. And he's got the victory. What a big victory here for him. So he hurt his knee. Yes, he, he's either twisted it or he's jammed it or he's sprained it. He might have ganked it. I don't know. Oh, and Gable there with uh, the ultra strength German roll through suplex, just like ultra strength Benge. Uh, <laughs> the topical analgesic cream of the WZWA network. Use Benge when your muscles are sore. I wonder if there's like a guy who's called Ben and he's gay and he uses <laughs> Benge. And when he buys it, he chuckles to himself like, yep, this is this is my kind of brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he goes to bars and he's like, you know, they named that cream after me. <laughs> Why would anyone be impressed? <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. So Julius has picked up a very big win here on Nitro. But what did it cost him if he's injured now? I don't know. Cost him however much it costs for a tube of Bengay. Uh, probably like, f what, five ninety nine? Maybe. I don't know. I don't I know what the exchange rates like bro no but oh bro coming up next maximum male models they're presenting that 2023 streetwear collection if i'm telling you right now luke if maxine is not here with them they'll be hell to pay <laughs> is the only reason he even watching? watches this back he's probably like because he never responds when we say these things no and speaking of luke uh <laughs> 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 it's his double <laughs> Mansoor this is gorgeous so absolutely gorgeous outfit and look at this right here what the fuck is that I mean look I don't know fashion so I can't, I can't really comment here you know but um, there certainly looks I can't remember the name of the other guy, Maximum Male Models. Oh, Ma Mace? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because at first I was like, hang on, it looks like Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cool. And very WCW. Because uh, Dennis Rodman would dress like that back in the day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So is that it? Was that was that then? Sure. Oh, wait a minute, bro. Oh, oh big quiche. Oh. <laughs> and he's bringing out his Rikishi wear. He's a bad man, Blade. A real bad man. Do you reckon I could pull off Rikishi wear, bro? Dude, I would kill for that. You're not allowed um, to wear a shirt underneath just like him, though. Yeah, next time we go out somewhere, that's it. All <laughs> red leather. How dope does Quiche look, bro? And wait a oh. minute. Is this an impromptu handicap match here? Not what we were expecting, but oh. nonetheless big Samoan headbutt there. Oh, is, is he just beating them up? Well, maybe he is. <laughs> Mace is doing nothing, just letting Mansoor get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> you see the smile oh! on his face? <laughs> oh, God. So Rikishi just beats the shit out of Mansoor. This is what we this is what we wanted here on WCW Monday Nitro Blade. Rikishi... Rikishi wear all day. Twice on Sunday, bro. Oh, it's coming up next, dude. I didn't even know this was on the card. Uh, the match that no one asked for. JD McDonough taking on Eric Young. Excellent. Great. No Maxine Dupree. We did get Rikishi. We now we got JD McDonough. Bro, look at him. He, uh, he looks sort of pissed off. Or maybe like he smelled a really bad fart. <laughs> and the crowd not reacting to JD McDonough whatsoever because uh, they just expected everyone to know who he is as soon as he shows up, even though not everyone watches NXT. <laughs> you know, how about, how about a few vignettes before he debuts? That's true. Uh, here we go. Oh, EY. Yeah, I like EY. Yeah, me too. It's a shame what happened with him in WWE, but, you know. That's right, but, you know, at least he's now in WCW and he can show what he's really all about, bro. 
That's it. Oh. It's very, very intimidating in that uh, plastic hockey mask, bro. <clears throat> he looks like a stormtrooper. <laughs> well, I mean, look, this should at least be a good match. That's true. Good on paper. Oh! Oh! Glancing blow. Beautiful work, EY. Yeah, here's Can't the thing, the Blade. Face. Like, wasn't like Eric, Eric Young and like he had a, that group Sanity? Yep. In NXT. And apparently they were, you know, like a really solid stable yeah bring them up to the main roster i think they made like two appearances or something and then that was it well the issue was i know that they got rid of alexander wolf um who else was in there oh. um was uh i can't remember the big guy the english not kill, not kill yeah nikki cross that's it uh they had killian dane but he came later there was another big guy that they had right uh what was his name Peyton Sawyer or so, something. It was like he was another big guy and he didn't last long either. And then, yeah, I don't know. The group, like, they were good in NXT and it fell apart at the main roster. What I don't get is why not just leave them in NXT then? If you didn't have a game plan and you weren't going to do anything with them, you're just going to split them up. Why just, just leave them in NXT then? That's it. But, like, I don't know what WWE's fetish is with recently and, like, splitting factions up quickly. I know, right? They just like, have to, It's like they have, like, the attention span of a hummingbird you know yeah it's it's infuriating like why are they splitting up judgment day already like oh god it yeah it, it just doesn't make sense her <laughs> like the hurt business oh, like, they should still be going bro yeah i know right it's dumb anyway the brawl on the outside here between jd and eric young or jd and ey oh beautiful power slam Beautiful power slam there from my bald brother, Eric Young. Oh, taunts at the wrong time and cops a shot to the stomach. Oh, standing Spanish fly. Beautiful. <laughs> Followed by some unrealism uh, right there. <laughs> nice suplex there. Could it be all? I would, I would hope not. That guy in the middle there in the crowd with the beard. Do you see him? The green shirt? Yeah. Is that Adam Sandler? <laughs> yeah it does sort of look like him you're right <laughs> i mean he ha he does like a bit of wrestling he's gone to the wrestling before yeah well you know we got all the stars here tonight on wstw monday nitro mcdonough again near fall there was a cr there was just a sign that was up in the crowd that said best date ever what could you imagine like bringing you bringing a potential rela relationship partner to a wrestling event as like your first date yeah, but like you wouldn't know it was the best date ever until it was <laughs> over. Yeah, like yeah. Or until at least it's in progress. Like what you already made the sign. What if she was a major <laughs> bitch on the night? <laughs> you've got this best date ever sign, and she knows you've got it, and you don't put it up in the air. You're like, what's what's the problem? And then he'd be like, well, clearly the problem is you're being a fucking bitch, and I'm trying to enjoy the wrestling show. If I'm being such a bitch, I'd be putting the sign up, wouldn't I? Uh, Another niffle there for JD's donor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kicks to the head, treating him like absolute dirt now. He's in supreme control here. He hasn't done anything in several minutes here. It's very concerning. This, this reminded me of Dan Housen and Bron Breaker. You know, Bron just couldn't get it together the whole match, and I was fearful no. of the loss, and it came and. It was, it was very, very upsetting. Would you rank that as more upsetting or less upsetting than Doink the Clown winning the hardcore title? Uh, you, know, you know what? Doink winning the hardcore title is just funny. Okay, It is fun. It is fucking hilarious. And it, it's a sign of the times here in, in our 2K23 universe <laughs> mode for Nitro. Uh, <laughs> you think this mode's just going to be like Luke fucking with us every week? Well, he we reckons... eventually quit? He reckons that, like, he has no control over who was on the roster or whatever, and it's all random. And I'm like, okay, but come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, EY getting back into the ring after a short rest. Oh, again. Oh, nice reversal there from EY. Straight out of that pump handle. Oh, Showing impact. some 
veteran that's Wiles there. That's it, bro. Belly to belly. Center of the ring. No, there's no way that was going to be your bro. No. I mean, unless your name's Bailey, then it would be the ending. Oh, that's the Bailey to belly. Yep. Ooh, roll through. One, two. I believe Bailey also called it the Hugplex. Oh, okay. That's a fun she was all cute point. and all for the little girls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the One. The inflatable men. Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, shit! Didn't Big expect Dota that. Wins. Yeah. And here, thank you uh, to our sponsor, Wendy's. Old fashioned hamburgers. Uh, quality is their recipe. EY and, and McDonough here. Look at this fucking great elbow drop from EY, but it well, wasn't could, enough play. I could elbow drop myself right onto a double Wendy's cheeseburger right now. <laughs> yeah, there was a close two count there for JD at that point of the match, but um, now this was a good back and forth, but you know, McDonough just seemed to outclass EY in this contest play. Well, it's that, that age-old idiom about, you know, age versus youth or age versus beauty or whatever they call it. I don't know. But um, the young gun had his number today. Yeah. Well, you know, we all know the youth movements in wrestling never draw. That's why they always bring back old guys. Wait a minute. Who could this be? I'm not sure because I don't hear any theme song. Wait a minute. Oh! Tommaso! He is attacking here. Uh, uh, JD McDonough here, bro, after what happened last week. <laughs> uh, and we've got Reddick Moss versus Danhausen here in what I'm sure is will be an exciting back and forth uh, that we uh, can't wait for until now. Another match I don't care about. <laughs> Just burying our own product. Yeah. Look at this idiot! <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's all right. He's pretty funny, but very nice, very evil, very yeah. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually seen any of Danhausen stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, um, that's fine, bro. And Riddick Moss, like, look, nothing against him, bro. He must be a cool guy because he's boning Emma. Yeah, they're engaged now. Oh, man. He put her on lockdown, bro. Nice work. But, yep. you know, he's a bit generic, mate. Look at the outfit. <laughs> I know, right? He looks he, he looks like Drew McIntyre's shitty American brother. <laughs> it's like the default wrestler, but they've yep. given him a ponytail. Wait a minute. What in the hell is Bron Breaker doing out here, bro? <laughs> sleeveless buttoned up shirt. What the hell is that shirt, dude? Is that... A... What is he? This... What is... I don't know what he's doing out here, but... I mean, he may be interested in seeing how uh, Riddick Moss fares against... Wait, no, is he refereeing? Oh, it's a WCW referee shirt, but he's cut off the sleeves. I see. Well, I never. The plot thickens here on Monday Nitro. I wonder what's going to happen here, considering Dan Hauser beat Bron Breaker last week. Bro. Bron can't be happy about that, but we'll see if he calls it down the line. I hope not. Oh, spinning, spinning, spinning. Uh, do, we have be, do we always have to be funny and entertaining, bro? Just slam him. Yeah. See, that's what you deserve. Kick to the head. Yeah. Picks him up. Oh, and drops him. You know what we haven't seen so far this WCW Monday Nitro? Snake Eyes. <laughs> we had like 10 last event. Where is the Snake Eyes? Yeah. How, why do we go from the extremes of the amount that we had last time to nothing? <laughs> <laughs> You'd imagine just in the production meeting. So, uh, guys, next week, can we just uh, chill it with the, the Snake Eyes? It's... Uh... You know, what, what do you mean? I love doing the snake eyes. Well, you know, last week we had 171 <laughs> snake eyes. The show, so. Is that the pl the plural of them? Snake eyes. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> this, this, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this show is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
you can tell by the way that we're paying attention to what's going on that we're thoroughly enjoying the product on offer massive vertical suplex there by reddick moss and Ouch. a copy pin one oh one count there Ooh, he's sliding out of the ring what's he going for oh, oh. just belting him with a hockey stick dude i mean i as far as i was aware this wasn't a no dq match but nevertheless oh, oh wait a minute oh jeez, that's gotta hurt not onto those soft wwe padded barriers that's metal railing right there that's right he's pinching the syfex there of of riddick moss <laughs> is that the actual name of the, the area no <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking before how funny would it be if I started saying Japanese words for the names of moves. <laughs> oh, you a Juju Katami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, he's just hit him with an Ushi Garoshi. <laughs> picks him up. Come on, Riddick. Oh, and that's a flying katana right there. Beautiful by Riddick Moss. If Riddick loses this, it would be ridiculous. Ha. That's that's true although he defeated Bron last week so Danhausen could be on a roll against the big boys of WCW no oh, well I mean this is supposed to be where the big boys play look at the adjective play <laughs> oh stomp out of the corner oh shotgun drop kick by Danhausen beautiful I really hope Bron does something here that makes this interesting me too imagine he just calls it down the middle and does a three count and that's it <laughs> shakes hands with both competitors and walks <laughs> out i would quit i would quit then and there <laughs> i had take off my headset I'm, i'll be done <laughs> i'll be on my way back to the marriott before you know it we're like i'm oh. i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen but california has just walked off the set of monday night nitro <laughs> why do i have an american accent all of a sudden <laughs> yeah and why are you still there why aren't you quitting with me <laughs> i thought we were friends a nice <laughs> shot there of danhausen's fat member oh and we forgot we forgot this move last week but that was a cattle mutilation oh, if that's i recall right. correctly yeah. yeah see shut up dj yeah shut I up i know DJ. what i'm talking about oh. Oh. oh was that a was that a uh, that was a back suplex into a clothesline <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i was trying to think of the name for it it's an juji katami <laughs> i think that's a cross arm breaker isn't it yeah yeah it is <laughs> um, neck breaker oh, oh shit yeah okay denhausen could be out cold here bro one um, two um, it's over whoa oh he's called madcap moss now <laughs> well i never thanks to 10 10 3 2 1 save up to 50 cents a call or 50 percent a call just dial 10 10 3 2 1 but man riddick and and danhausen certainly had a, a fucking bomb burner here man yeah and uh surprisingly bron breaker calling it straight down the line uh you know maybe it's just all about fair competition that's right and uh luke if you're watching this i prefer 10 10 2 20 instead of 10 10 3 2 1 but you know beggars can't be choosers no that's it especially when you're getting up to 50 percent off exactly and bron didn't even do it <laughs> he called it down the middle oh, oh wait a minute are they friends it looks like it wait oh. yes they are confirming their friendship and uh coming up next bro the main event of the evening the apa bradshaw and farouk taking on ray phoenix pentagon jr the lucha brothers i hope they lose hmm they're coming out to no music as well yep i don't know if, what the deal is if uh you know we've had some problems monetizing the videos because of the theme songs well, that's um, true but you know that's okay if that's if that's the case that's okay but you know a little I'm strange just, i'm just being told in my headset that uh it's actually being a cost in production cuts uh we can't afford to to use real music here on the wgwa network but uh you know it is what it is 
We'll 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 get there. We will get there, and you know, I prefer if the API. I prefer uh, J not JBL hairstyle Bradshaw. I prefer him to have the black hair and the goatee, and yeah, and all that. So, and yep, black power boys, black power. <laughs> <laughs> Bradshaw, famous friend to the blacks. <laughs> oh, picks him up. Nope. Pentagon, great neck breaker there. Look how diverse this lineup is here. We've got two Mexicanos, a Caucasian, and an African American. I think they call him uh, a Chicano. Chicano. But, you know. They could have had an Asian referee and really made it diverse, but that's true. But no, you know, we have to have the same referee we had every other match. Two out of three or four out of five ain't bad, <laughs> as Meatloaf says. Yep. Rest in peace, Loaf. Yeah, love you, Loaf. <laughs> Speaking like I knew him, like he was a close <laughs> personal friend. <laughs> you got a little nickname for him and everything. <laughs> Hit him. Ooh. Hit him, John. I'm telling you, bro, if the APA lose this, I riot. Yeah, that's fair. Did you see that sign in the crowd then? No, nah, what did it say? It said, off the top rope, exclamation point. What? <laughs> Who sat there behind the scenes at the 2K23 crew and was like, okay, we need some ideas for signs. Oh, what about off the top rope? Yeah, great one, Ben. Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> That's why we hired you, Ben Gay. <laughs> the fucking best best date ever. Get <laughs> Somebody got paid to code that. Think about that for a second. It's bullshit, mate. Oh, Farouk. Oh, Manhandling. What, what are you doing, Ronald? Getting himself into a world of hurt here. He was a collegiate football standout at the University of Michigan, Detroit. That was actually <laughs> Scott Steiner, I think. But... <laughs> I think so as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, oh. a, he's a football star, mate. He's a football star. Yeah, oh, he's shit, Ray. <laughs> you can. Yeah, get that tag, Ron. Ron to John. Beautiful. Oh, piss off. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to powerbomb him. Yeah, I thought so too. Next, we're going to see JBL take a Canadian Destroyer. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, no. Oh, beautiful drop kick to the side of the head. Very nice. Very, very nice. Picks him up. Ooh. Elbows. Elbows to the Cyphex. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ooh. baby. Borrowing a page out of his tag team partner's book there with that spine crunching spine buster. That's right. Oh, crap. Pentagon cop. Uh, sorry. Simmons cops a drop kick from Pentagon and another tag from the APA. Look at these quick tags. That's why right. you got to keep each other fresh. Yeah, but not that fresh. <laughs> no, that's true. Ooh, what are we yeah, going to see here? Uh, Bump on the apron. Oh, there's no oh. way for Rick's taking that bump. <laughs> As he goes up, all you could hear is, damn! <laughs> Come on, APA, oh. they have no game plan here right now. This is really disappointing so far. Yeah, the APA look a little disjointed here. Oh, not this fucking move. Oh! oh. Onto the back of his head. I mean, these two teams could be contenders for being the first WCW Tag Team Champions. That's true. Ooh, reverses that oh, package pile driver attempt. Clothesline from heck. <laughs> well, we now... Uh, does Monday Night Nitro not allow swearing? <laughs> oh, no. It was just because it was such a weak clothesline. Oh, uh, like... yeah. <laughs> I, I catch you. Beautiful. Here we go! Hi, hi, oh. hi, hi, hi. Back body drop. I really wanted to see a double flapjack, but new, beautiful back body drop there. Yeah, very nice. And he's just wrenching, wrenching the head. Beautiful Whoa. First ever African-American world heavyweight champion. Tags out to JBL. 
the 2000th Caucasian heavyweight champion? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed it. JBL looking a bit worse for wear. He is. He's seems to be struggling with his Lucha Brothers. It's true. Despite they the do... win. Despite the win over Pentagon last week. They do go at a quick speed, these Luchas. And now he's perched him on the top rope. What? Could we get a fall away slam off the second oh. rope here, Blade? Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. One. Piss off, Ray. <laughs> Referee. Like what I expect. Of course, he's going to want to stop the pin. Oh, Mix and him up. Farouk staring at him down before getting out of the ring. Big Respecting character. the count there. That's it, bro. Hit him. Oh, fuck's sake, John. <laughs> Hit him. There we go. Oh, here we go. Another back suplex onto the apron. We've seen the spot already, mate. Good. Just a receding for uh, his tag team partner. Now get in the ring and fuck him up. Take advantage of it. That's the way, Ron. Beautiful. Where's Someone with help? The, the Pier 6 brawl sign. Oh! Oh! Close line from hell! Oh, oh come God. on. You've got to be fucking with me, bro. All right, we need a dominator, bro. That's it. Come on, Farouk. Dominator. We need a dominator. <laughs> Why didn't they ever call it that? Yeah, that's strange, isn't it? <laughs> I know that that's not the finish because I can see how much time's left in the episode. Uh, fix him up. <laughs> Just drops him like a sack of shit. You know what I love most about the, these episodes is that we don't play... Like the fact that we don't have favorites. We're just fully biased. Oh, of course, bro. What was Ron doing then? Oh, Canadian Destroyer? Oh, piss oh. off! <laughs> so Ron Simmons hits an elbow drop to nobody because no one was near him. And then he takes a Destroyer from Ray. Get the fuck out of town, bro. Yeah, and then Ray Phoenix tries to lock him in with that Juji Gatami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. Boring. He calls that the boring. <laughs> Get in there, John! John! Fuck me. They lost from that. John's just standing there looking. <laughs> what was the point of that, checking his, his stocks on the apron. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh meet oh, another oh, man, Zara Sassafras. Uh, oh! Spine on the fucking pine. That could be it. Where's Pentagon? He's done. How was that on it? That's really pissing me off, bro. I'm getting real ticked off here, man. Farouk clearly... Uh... Here we go! Terminator! Oh! Bang! <laughs> That's it! That's it, bro! Yes! Yes. <laughs> oh, bro. What a win. And thank oh. you to Starburst Fruit Twists uh, for sponsoring this last replay here, the main event, the APA. Look at this fucking fall away play. Oh, beautiful stuff there. Love it. It's unbelievable. Well, of course, that was not enough. Uh, and then look at Ron missing an elbow drop to <laughs> nobody and then taking a destroyer. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's never happening. Look at this. This is gorgeous, mate. The Daminator. I love that Pentagon didn't even bother. No. Nah. Like you see him in the corner, he's just standing there. It's like, hell no. Ah, oh, fuck it, SA. <laughs> oh, wait a yes! second. Yes, bro. Oh. Yeah, I love it. Wear them out, boys. Wear them out. Yeah. Oh, I love the play. What a way to end Monday Nitro here. The APA beating the living shit out of the Lucha Brothers, bro. What a show. Picture perfect ending in my eyes. Keep going, boys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep wearing it out, bro. Wearing wow, it out. They're beating them like they owe money.
<laughs> we'll see you next time, folks. Network, that's the way we blind. Get puppies. Don't play. Network, that's the way we blind. Get all of us are paid for by the WZWA Network.